Shane, and today I'd like to share an idea with you that I use when we're studying machines. Now, when I was growing up, we were always taking things apart to see how they operate, to see how they work inside, but I find my students rarely do that anymore. In fact, many of them have never even used simple hand tools. So the idea is to dissect some old toys or small appliances and see what's inside. See the gears and levers and, and wheels and axles and so forth and see how they operate. One example is my electric pencil sharpener. It's always breaking so students take it apart and clean it and get it back working again. In some cases we'll make a video of its operation and then watch its movement in slow motion. Now one of my favorite toys is called the Jolly Chimp and this one's in pretty sad shape. The clothing's ripped up, the battery compartment's all corroded, but hopefully I can salvage the mechanism that's inside. So the parts inside still work, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on this wooden base and that way we can see its operation. I call these my Terminator Monkeys. By mounting it on display, now students can see how the mechanism operates inside the toy. I'll remove his face here so we can see what's going on inside his head. Here's a clock that I have mounted on my wall. The wooden frame around it was broken so I simply took the guts and then mounted it on a piece of wood. Here's another toy that we put on display. In this case, it's a little barking dog. When we hook up the batteries one way, it barks and wags its tail. When we switch the wires around, it stops barking and then it starts to walk. And here's the mechanism from a music box. These cars have been popular in science classes. Uh, they're cheap, but they also break down fairly easily. So we've taken quite a few of them apart. And here are the gears inside. Here's a mechanism that makes the lights blink on and off. Here the monkeys do like to play along with the music. I hope this video gave you some ideas of displays that you might want to make for your classroom. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!